question. A chocolate salesman is traveling with three boxes of 30 chocolates each. During his journey, he encounters 30 toll booths. Each toll booth inspector takes one chocolate per box that contains chocolate as tax. What is the largest number of chocolates he can be left with after passing through all toll booths? Options A. 0 B. 30 C. 25 and D. 20 Solution It is given that a chocolate salesman is traveling with three boxes with 30 chocolates in each box. Thus, there are 3 into 30, that is 90 chocolates in total. It is also given that there are 30 toll booths. Let us call them as toll booth 1, toll booth 2 and so on till toll booth 30 with respect to the order of occurrence. The question also tells us that each toll booth inspector takes one chocolate per box that contains chocolate as tax. Note that the toll booth inspector takes tax only for a box that is non-empty. As we are required to find the largest number of chocolates left, let us try to obtain a situation where the salesman can empty boxes to avoid giving tax for those boxes. Consider the first 10 toll booths, that is toll booth 1 to toll booth 10. At each toll booth, he has to give one chocolate per box as tax and thus in total he gives 3 into 10, that is 30 chocolates as tax. Thus, after passing toll booth 10, the number of chocolates in each box will be 20 as shown in the figure. Now, in box 1 and box 2, there is a deficiency of 10 chocolates each. Take the 20 chocolates in box 3 and distribute them equally in box 1 and box 2. This is shown in the figure below. Thus, now box 3 is empty and the salesman needn't give tax for box 3 anymore. Now, consider the next 15 toll booths, that is toll booth 11 to toll booth 25. He has to give one chocolate per box as tax only for the non-empty boxes, that is box 1 and box 2. Thus, for these 15 toll booths, he gives a total of 15 into 2, that is 30 chocolates as tax. Thus, after passing toll booth 25, box 1 has a deficiency of 15 chocolates as shown below. Now, take the 15 chocolates in box 2 and put them in box 1 as shown in the figure. Now, box 2 is also empty and consequently, he doesn't have to pay tax for box 2 anymore. Consider the next 5 toll booths, that is toll booth 26 to toll booth 30. Now, there are 5 toll booths and 1 non-empty box remaining. As there is only 1 non-empty box, the salesman is required to give tax for box 1 alone. Thus, he pays 1 chocolate per toll booth from toll booth 26 to toll booth 30. In total, 5 chocolates are given as tax from toll booth 26 to toll booth 30. Hence, in the end, there will be 25 chocolates remaining in the only non-empty box, that is box 1. It is shown in the figure below. Therefore, a maximum of 25 chocolates can be left. The right answer to the question is option C. Hope you all like this video. For more videos and update on the upcoming free classes, you can be part of a WhatsApp group and Telegram group. To be part of the WhatsApp group, you can just text to this number and to be part of the Telegram group and Telegram channel, you can just search Christie's classes in Telegram. In the Telegram group, daily live free quizzes happen at 9 p.m. on general aptitude. You can be part of that quiz also. And if you want live free classes for general aptitude, you can download an academy mobile application and search this profile Christy Burgess and you can see 300 plus pre-recorded videos and upcoming daily live classes happen at 11 a.m. Monday to Friday 11 a.m. 
free classes happen in this profile. So you are welcome to attend this free classes also and more YouTube video details are given here. And these are the details of the full courses or the paid courses in an academy platform which you can get by taking an academy plus subscription with the referral code CC10. Hope to see you in the upcoming video. Thank you.